It's all the gossip out of Nashville and Hollywood. These are the Fitz Files. So Joe Nichols, man, he he he's up to a project. He's up to some business. He just he just brought back an oldie but a goldie. Hmm. I think this is uh, uh I like to call it really a song that represents the tapestry of our nation. Ooh. <laughs> And which one is that, sir? <laughs> It'd be this one. You might you might recognize it. Now, Joe Nichols made it a country song, obviously. Uh huh. Okay, let's see. You know, you want to pull up tough. All you notice that butt was tough. Deep in the jeans that she's wearing, I'm a, And I can't stop staring. You recognize it yet? Oh, yeah. No. I like big butt. Oh! And I lie. <laughs> On you other brothers can't deny. Thoughts? What do you think? I like that more than the original. Yeah. Me too. If I'm a program director at a radio station, I'm putting that thing in rotation. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing it. I'd play it. Yep. yep. Jay, you know what? Just if you want to. It's mm-hmm. so if you fun. If you want to, Mr. Boss Man, <laughs> go ahead and throw this in rotation today. All right, who on the show loves Game of Thrones? Uh, right here. I There's do. Drew right here. and Jenna. Love it. I've never watched one episode. I feel really, really bad about that. Me neither. That. But you know who's a huge fan of Game of Thrones? Who? Thomas Rhett. Really? Yeah, he talks about uh, you know if, if he could trade places with someone from Game of Thrones. Who do you think it would be? Thomas Rhett. Jon Snow. Let's see. Jon Snow. Who wouldn't want to be Jon Snow? I love it. My wife and I binge watched that show uh, a couple years back, so we're big fans. Yeah, Drew, what do you think? Uh, Thomas Rhett being a Jon Snow? <laughs> See, this is starting to build into my suspicions about Thomas Rhett and his relationship, because Jon Snow is notoriously a single character. Ooh. He had one romance, and it ended poorly. So You're looking into this way too and, close. And, to and you've also been hearing uh, Thomas Rhett the past few days on the show talking about you know how wonderful his marriage is. You think there's something to that. I just think he talks too much about how wonderful his marriage is. You're uh-huh. just a hater. No. I, I, <laughs> Why are you so jealous of Thomas Rhett's marriage? I think when someone goes goes way out of their way to tell you how perfect their marriage is, there's a problem. Mm-hmm. They're they're covering for. And something. again, it reminds me of the people on Facebook, the married couples who have their joint account. Exactly. Yes. They say usually that happens or if one of them suspects the other person is cheating. Really? Or it's like Leanne and Johnny <laughs> Johnson. Leanne, <laughs> Leanne John Smith. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> John Jennifer Waters. <laughs> yeah, that's. A, Hey, I thought about my, actually my wife suggested it to me one time a while Ooh. back, and then it, it's, I mean I don't know. That's weird. My friend, don't, don't like you look it. at me like that. Yeah. Don't you look at me. Need your identity. My friend has one of them, and but whenever they comment on my stuff, I never know if it's her husband or her. And sometimes huh? it's awkward. I'm like, oh, that's definitely her, not him. I hope so. Or it could be your husband. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, there you go. You got the good, the bad, and the gossip. You got the Fitz file. The radio honky tonk for your badonka donk. A badonka donk. It's the Fit Show. Oh my God, you're so funny.